Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground for the beautiful, wonderful collective on this beautiful Tuesday. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my Wisdom of Oracle deck. What is this to fill out? TikTok, go the distance, and buy the book. Okay. So it's definitely like it feels like time is running out in a certain situation. Somebody wants to go ahead and go the distance in a certain situation, and they want to do something right. Look, look how these molecules, look how fast they're going that these molecules need to catch up. So this person definitely wants to do something right. And they know that they're going to have to go ahead and do something how it's supposed to be done. Not for you. So there was something in this person's energy that was definitely not for them. It was like, look, look at this. It's a chessboard. It was some type of games being depicted here. And then it was games against their fortune, right? So they had to realize, like, are they going to continue to play games or do they want to be fortunate, right? And it's like, nope, they don't want to con con continue to play any games. They want to be at their no place like home because there was a lot of chaos and conflict, um, but they're ready to go ahead and shed that old shit and make way for new. This person does want to exchange gifts with you, and there has been some type of fork in the road um, where there's been having to be decisions made, right? It's the here and now. They're thinking about the things that happened in the past. There's a lot of nostalgic, me nostalgic memories. And then they're thinking about the current, right? And then we have truth be told. So there's definitely some type of truth that this person is seeing forthrightly, like hope, like right in front of their eyes, right? They, are, they have taken their mask off. They're standing on top of that mask. And they have gained some type of wisdom with this owl and message as a bird, right? So, and then we have 14, which breaks down to a five. So there's some type of change as well. This person sees you as very blessed and they realize that it's, that it's time for them to go ahead and go where they're, where they're led to go. And they, you know, they have been asking why in the past, but they realized they had to, they had all the answers right in front of those, those signs, those synchronicities, that clouded judgment that they were seeing, seeing that they were feeling those, emo, those mixed emotions. They realized they had to walk through to see that shit brighter. They had to go ahead and do some regeneration. This person definitely has been watching you. They have been observing you. And, you know, there's still some anxiety here. With the moon here, there's still some anxiety here. There's still some fears. There's still some illusions that they have to go ahead and face. But, gang, there's balance to be had here. That's the masculine energy um, gang, okay? So, let's see what else we have. Um, right here, it's standing out to me. I have the Starseed Oracle deck. And it's like the bottom of the deck is all past leaves home. So, regardless of what this person you know, maybe going through, whenever they think about you, they really feel like a home feeling. They really feel um, a feeling of, you know, everything leading back to you, constant thoughts, things of that nature, okay? So let's see what else we have here. I'm going to go ahead and use a Starseed Oracle deck, then I'll go ahead and put the tarot on it. Lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. Like I was saying, they were asking why, but they had the signs of synchronicities right in front of them. So now they're realizing that they have to get rid of anything that no longer serves them, Right? They see everything for how it truly is. And they realize that this is a, a past life connection. They remember some shit. There's been some so many signs and synchronicities that they have seen. Um, and, and it's definitely like they know that this is um, fated versus, versus destined. And then look, here it's longing for home. We have this here twice. They There's just like a, ho a home feeling, a very comfortable feeling. It's like um, whenever they're apart from you for too long, it's, it, it's very much so a pool, a magnetic energy, a very much so a pool that they feel towards you. And they're definitely like, either way, either way, both of you are longing for each other because it's definitely like you remember you've done this before. This is a past life type of connection. Eight of Cups. Yeah, so this person sees that they have to leave something that they were focusing on previously in the past, right? Um, they have to change their priorities. And like when I said, the chaos and conflict shedding old way, they're definitely seeing that, right? They're seeking a deeper meaning into a lot. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This person sees you as very down to earth. They see you as very motherly. They see you as very financially responsible and secure, very creative, but very practical as well, right? 
Then we have the Hierophant. So, you know, that's all about following spiritual guidance, doing introspection, understanding the power of wisdom, under, understanding like, um, you know, being able to learn from the most high. Being, go ahead and having the power to follow where you're led without having, without any ifs, ands, or buts, not, not listening to your ego, not making up any, you know, um, any illusions in your mind, just following where you're led. We have the star and then that's 17, which breaks down to an eight. So we know that's abundance, right? We know that's positivity. That's, we know that that's very optimistic, um, a very optimistic mind frame. Okay. So this person knows that you have a very healing energy. This person knows that with you is very much so strength. This person knows that, you know, there have been some difficult phases, but they do hope to have some type of calm. Okay, the devil want to come out. So, yeah, there has been some stagnation here. And, you know, you know, there's been some type of obsessive. There's been some type of stagnation here. Um, definitely could have been some type of lustful situations that this person put you in. Um... But it, but it's definitely like okay. There, it's it's like. Let's see what this to fill out. Seven of Pentacles. It's like they know that it's gonna be more. They know that it's gonna like both of you know it's gonna require growth. Like yeah, it's not gonna be no stuck and stagnant because we just don't do that around these parts, right? It has to be growth. Um, like it's like, um, you're taking stock of the past. You're understanding where you've gone. Gone. You've understand where you've come from. And you understand that you're going to have to put this work in to go ahead and create this empire, period. So we do see that consistent consistency after this stagnation is going to lead to abundance. Then we have the two of wands. So yeah, we have um, progress, right? Courage to overcome obstacles. So there's definitely been some type of obstacles, but you do have what it takes to go ahead and overcome that. And this person definitely sees that shit. Nine of, nine of cups. So it's definitely like they're, they're counting their blessings. And it's definitely um, very much so like satisfaction, wishes fulfilled, all of that. Um, we do have this new romantic opportunity for you, new horizons, and that's all because of self-improvement. That's all because of um, taking accountability. That's all because of showing action. You know, action is going to lead to satisfaction, this Ten of Cups, this um, happiness, right? This good fortune, this harmonious um, life, and being aligned with your true North Node, right? Being aligned with your true nature and understanding the power of growth, understanding the power of changing your conscious mind, understand, understanding the power of having to let go of certain things that no longer serve you. And then we have judgment here. So this person definitely knows that they're going to have to reevaluate some things. And then what is on the bottom of the deck? Temperance and then justice. They're going to have to reevaluate some things um, because, you know, I don't know why I got karma as a motherfucker. But 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 it, but it's really like this person sees being on their lower vibrational energy is getting them nowhere nowhere real quick, right? Getting them nowhere real quick, and they're understanding that, like to balance this shit out is is gonna have to take accountability. They're gonna have to have some type of fairness, some type of truth, some type of um, adaptation, right? They're gonna have to adapt. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. So this person definitely does see um, this is good. There's something that they have been studying. They do um, understand that, you know, there cannot be any more betrayals. Any more betrayals, any more light mentality, five, five of swords here, because any of that unhealthy competition is not leading to anywhere. It's, it's a no-win situation. It's a situation that is going to leave you stuck and stagnant or this person stuck and stagnant if it's not on some higher vibrational type shit, right? Because don't nobody got time for any type of higher, like lower vibrational type bull bullshit when we vibrating high, right? Because then we have the Knight of Cups. So we definitely see that with the Knight of Cups, there is some type of slow moving something here, but it's definitely like once they get to where they're going, it's, it's definitely a higher vibrational type shit. If I, like I can't even spit it out this morning, y'all. So then we have death. So with very transformational and very transformative energy, very much so like liberation, very much so understanding the power that you have once you unite is something that cannot be demolished. It's something that cannot be diminished, right? And then having this five of pentacles energy as well, like understanding that any hardships that you've been through, stop focusing too much on the monetary and understanding that like, 
they don't want to lose you in this situation. They don't want to lose you. They know who you are. They know like that you have this constant flow of love within you and they're seeing shit for what it truly is. And you know, you understand your worth. You understand what you deserve and you're not going to take less than what you deserve. So you don't have any time for any petty conflict, for any misfortune, for anybody stabbing you in the back because, um, you know, you're a very patient, not a pinnacle. You're a very patient person. You're a person that never gives up and you want progress, period. Then we have the Ace of Cups. So we do have, um, you know, a very compassionate connection here and new beginnings to be able to create abundance and understanding that there may have been some points that you were at your lowest, but you can pick yourself up from that shit and be able to go ahead and regenerate, right? Regener regenerate because this person was definitely feeling a lot of pain, feeling a lot of regret, feeling very much so um, in a despair type uh, state for being on some lower vibrational bullshit, playing games and being on a fuck boy, fuck girl type energy. And they're realizing that they have to have some type of balance within that shit to a source. And because they see you winning regardless and they want to go ahead and manifest you and they do see 10 of Pentacles with you, right? But there, you know, there could definitely still be some type of anxiety there, but they want to come forth and understand that they want this two of cups. They want this reconciliation with you. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.